with Lauren Murphy of the SWP. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be quite difficult to follow that in terms of tone, so I'm not even going to try. Um, I want to just start by saying thanks very much for inviting me and Shanice here today. Um, I think it's always good to be in a room full of revolutionary socialists. Um, I think it would be better if we were all still fighting in the same organisation, but that is something which we'll have to work out as we go at the moment. Um, I'm still in the SWP, we're still arguing inside the SWP, I think it's... Sound. Oops, I just... I think... Um, I think it's important to be in a revolutionary socialist organisation um, and we can we can debate about that. Um, okay, sorry. Um, we can debate about that. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk to the, the, the title about embracing feminism um, and, and what that actually means um, as a revolutionary socialist. Um, because I think as revolutionaries, we always have to start by thinking what is the, what is the, the crucial task at the moment and analysing the world that we're in to work out um, how we're actually going to achieve those tasks. Um, at the moment, we want to build a confident section of, of, of working class people willing to fight against the capitalist uh, against capitalism, against neoliberalism, against the ideological assault from, from the bosses and governments all over the world, trying to make normal, ordinary people suffer in order to pay for the, pay for the, the capitalist crisis. Um, and I think that's where, we, that's where we start from. And what we're looking, what we're seeing all over the world is mass movements of millions of people taken to the streets in political movements where people are becoming increasingly radicalised all across the world, in Brazil, in Turkey, in Egypt, um, against often minor, minor things that trigger off um, struggle, but because of the capitalist crisis and the context of, of the failure of neoliberalism and the ideological attacks coming from, from the ruling class, people are, often end up drawing radical anti-capitalist conclusions. And I think that that's where we start from when, we, when we're looking at um, when, when we're in the midst of struggles where people are calling themselves feminists, where people are um, not, ne not necessarily one to uh, a, a, a socialist position about the, the working class um, being the key agent of change, etc. Um, we, have, we have to kind of realise that those people are coming to conclusions in the midst of struggle because of the crisis and the period that we're in. And, if we, and we're only going to win them to a Marxist analysis, to, to, uh, to our idea about how we're actually going to completely overthrow the capitalist system if we're struggling alongside them. <laughs> we're only going to win them to that analysis if we're struggling alongside them and fighting shoulder to shoulder um, in those struggles. So I'm sorry, the mic just keeps cutting out. I don't know if it's me. So I think we have to we have to see these struggles um, as the kind of um, we have to look at the world that we're in and recognise that it's these struggles that are giving people confidence to fight back. It's you know we we have to. Um, we look at we see millions of people on the streets of Egypt fighting against neoliberalism, fighting where, where there are women on the streets fighting for their for the right to be involved in the political process of the Egyptian revolution. Many of them might call themselves feminists. They might not call themselves revolution. Well, actually, most of them probably do call themselves revolutionaries now, but they wouldn't necessarily call themselves Marxists. But that's the kind of tradition that we want to see ourselves in, and we have to be standing right at the front of those struggles and shoulder to shoulder with those people. So I think. When it comes to um, whether we call ourselves feminists or whether we call ourselves socialists or whether we call ourselves Marxists, as long as we're all fighting in the same fight and as long as we're all um, pushing, we're all, we're all trying to raise the confidence of, of, of ordinary people across the world to fight back in ways that can actually win, that's the key task for us as revolutionaries.